Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Old World Blues. I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and on screen, we have Stonks. We aren't quite sure what an index fund is, or even if they exist. Against advice from our esteemed advisor, Jeremy, this investment has done a great deal in growing the wealth of our nation. Bull or maybe bear? Well, we do like bears around here, but at least we get 150 NCR dollars. Now, let us choose our next focus. We just... Finish up 10 to the long 15. But it's time for us to do guns from back home. Local production in the Mojave is woefully lacking, and so the discrepancy must be made up by importing supplies from the Republic. Now that we've patched up the most glaring issues with the long 15, and we have the troops to defend it, we can begin petitioning Shady Sands for weapon shipments. Cool. And we will get 400 units of equipment. And now the NCR is at War of the Divide, but... Uh, I think we're okay. I think we're good. I don't really want to get into any more warfare for now, unless it's against the fiends, maybe. Actually, do we have anything against the fiends in, in our focus tree? I see fiends. Oh, we do. Whores in Vault 3. Ooh. Now I'm interested. Appoint Ambassador Kraka. Interesting. More than two at a table. Alright. Maybe we can take him out eventually. Not yet, but eventually. We do have a couple comments to go through. And I guess, let's see, how far are we with this? Let's get through the next folks first, and we'll talk about some of the comments. So, after this one. Form the 1st Recon Battalion. Chief Hamlin has long impressed the importance of marksmanship on his Ranger Corps, but until now, the idea of a dedicated sharpshooter battalion has never gained real traction. In the face of the rough terrain in the Mojave, however, it makes much more sense. The 1st Reconnaissance Battalion will be formed in Baker, composed of the best sharpshooters and spiders the NCR has to offer. The last thing you'll ever see. Now, it's been told to me through the comments from yesterday's video that, that the battalion that we do get, or the division that we get, has a locked template, which kind of sucks. Yeah, actually, that really does suck, but whatever. We'll, we'll, we'll work with it. So, a couple comments. First of all, I asked you guys yesterday what our intelligence name should be. And you guys came up with some great names, such as the Department of Local Affairs, or the Department of the Mojave Affairs, which I feel like we are just... Like, already the huge Department of Mojave Affairs. Other names included the Des Desert Whispers, the Department of Bull Teasers, or oh, Tamers, not, te oh, not Teasers, Tamers, uh, the uh, Republic Intelligence Bureau, other things such as Mojave Intelligence Agency. But one that stood out to me, and stood out to other people with the most likes at the time of this recording, is one name such as the Desert Bears. I like that. Now, of course, NCR's mascot are, of course, the Bears, California, you know. I don't like that. Desert Bears. I'm not sure how, how long a bear can survive in the desert, but, hey, you never know. Maybe in, in the icy Arctic, I guess they can still technically survive. But whatever. Desert Bears sounds really cool. Even though there was a couple comments, or at least one comment in the last video saying that uh, they, they preferred the name Ranger Intelligence, which isn't bad. It just seems a little unpizzazz. I don't know. Trooper Warfare it is. More defense and attrition speed? Not bad. Pretty good. NCR. NCR. Buddies. Guys. Guys. Come on. You, you don't need me to take out these guys. You will need me to probably help out, or I'll need you to help me take out the Legion, but come on. And we're also training our soldiers because we can. Other comments. Oh, another one was the IRS. Like in, Intel, or Intelligence, Reconnaissance, and Sabotage. Look at this. Uh, and another name was... Something else with IRS as well, which is really cool, but... Prevent political pressure. The NCR Congress has been putting intense pressure on us for months to launch a decisive assault against the Mojave Brotherhood. We should launch our assault before the pressure reaches ahead and take the Brotherhood by surprise. We already have! So, okay. And we formed the first recon battalion. Now we got more stuff. Towards pacification, less resistance target, less more required garrisons, and less damaged garrisons, which is not bad. Uh, resources sound pretty good. We get more infrastructure. Garrison Prim. Ooh. Wait, so our control over the state increases from minimal to loose, reducing the damage hostile raids and local wildlife attacks in the state due to our supplies by 20%. Build up the Conwood Port. March on Bitter Springs. T March towards pacification. I like that one a lot. Establish camp for Lorne Hope. I like that as well. Reinforce camp searchlight. The Nipton Deal. The Bulls Growing Bellows. Assemble the Mojave Defense Committee. Ooh, encouraging and encouraging victory. Government opinion of our war improves significantly. Everyone likes us a little bit more. Form the heavy core. Use the tools left behind. I like all that stuff, actually. But let's do it towards pacification. Our attempts to pacify the area around the Mojave will take us decades. I guess we might as well make a start. Ooh, the first recon is here. You might as well throw them in there, just because these guys are already here. And the 20 combat width. Hey, they're actually fully equipped with 
uh, special forces, unlike these guys. Now, like someone said, these, we can edit this division, which... I mean, I would only throw in more support companies, they're not bad, so that's not too bad. I will eventually switch these guys more over to special forces. Actually, you're losing trust with special forces so far, huh? Well, of course, we are walking infantry with normal infantry battalions. That's okay. Uh, but we don't have enough special forces stuff. But let's let time go on. Now, I've already chosen the Tulchinsky Engineering just because I want to build more civilian factories, military factories, stuff like that as time goes on. That's always good stuff to build. A good industrial base is always welcome here. And we have so much manpower. Let's see. It was also recommended that I don't build too many more divisions, so we're only making one infantry division for now, so we'll get there eventually. It's Kazos Legion. Something that might be really good for us to do is eventually get docks, because we'll probably want some field hospitals, chemical companies, so let's go ahead and grab docks, just because I want to produce more support equipment over time, even though we have, like, not enough factories. That's probably a bad idea to do that, but hey, whatever. Oh, we can't even build that stuff yet, either. Whoopsie. Smoke signals, decode signals, very good. Oh, uh, what are we making that we do not use? Grenade rifles, so eventually, and saws, yeah, we'll eventually use them, so. Just making sure we get everything squared away. At least put one factor in everything. We're obviously going to need more guns. Obviously, you can see we're only making one division. Totally fine, doesn't matter. White likes clear, we're on the timekeepers, cool. Yeah, anti-tank is awesome, but we want some chemical companies. Let's see. Someone recommended that we should compromise with the locals in whatever decision we take. We'll see what happens. I don't know. We'll see. The Old World Wall. Ooh. Maybe we want to get down there pretty quickly. I'm not sure when the Legion will go to war with us, though. Did they just on historical or not? I can't remember. Conquests, better aftermath. Old War. Oh. March on Bitter Springs. You know what? We could reinforce this. Losing the damage of hostile raids and local wildlife attacks. Let's go with this one first. I want to... Let's get the old world wall just in case. The legion swells like cancer across the east. We must be ready. We get more war support and army XP, which is great. Uh, so, like I said, I might have said already. I can't even remember this point. Someone recommended we build up more outposts. See, uh, in uh, Hoover Dam. So we might do that. Maybe. I want to see what the old world wall does have for us first, though. So we'll see what happens. And like I said earlier, NCR, you didn't need us. Were you trying to use our manpower for nothing? What you doing, son? you doing? Let's see. More research. Clay working. Great. Land doctrine is coming along. And specialized doctrine. Let's go and do this one. Special forces expansion. We could really use that. Only 1.2 political power every day. Meh. Oh, here we go. We can do petition for equipment. Which isn't bad, but we're okay for now. For now. Oh, someone also asked, what was... There's buttons up here with this occupied territories tab. Now, we can obviously see compliance and stuff like that, but... This is a garrison log, and it shows you how much manpower we've lost in the past couple days, weeks, and stuff like that, and equipment as well. Equipment, infantry equipment, 500, so. Not great. It is what it is. Actually, I might core some territories. I don't know if we can core anything here. Maybe, maybe not. Ooh, bulls growing balloons. Buffoons. And then when this button is equipment details, seeing how well stocked our garrison equipment is going. Let's see. Can we core anything? We're 1 out of 3. Liberty Good Springs. So Good Springs eventually becomes a core of us. Good Springs. Nipton. Okay. Good Springs and Nipton, that's it. Alright, that's good to know. Good Springs and Nipton. Assemble the Mojave Defense Committee. The Mojave, or its population and strategic centers at least, now lie almost completely under our grasp. We need now to concern ourselves while keeping it that way. Enemies lie all around us, and there is some division within our ranks about how we should best prepare for the future battles. So, Good Springs and Nipton. So, Nipton's obviously down here. So, we shouldn't core this, even though I would like to. As well as Good Springs, which is over here. And it's actually not that much to core. So, instead, we'll probably core some other areas. Let's see. All this area is not very bueno. Oh, actually. Oh, that does limit us, probably. Because we gotta have. We gotta touch other settlements. Or uncolonized settlements. Or uncored settlements with other cored settlements. So, we, oh, we can actually core Cottonwood Cove. That will put down resistance, hopefully. I don't know. Hold on. Let's, let's go look. Cove. As you can tell, I haven't done this off-screen at all, so. Uh, we got one out of four. Where's the next one? Oh, there's that one. And then there's that one defending the Mojave. You get more stuff. Oh, no. It's over here, too. And then over here, our supplies increased by 80. Wow. It doesn't look like we get anything there, so... I'm not sure if this is going to be worth it or not. But if the Legion does attack... And if we have it as a core already, well, we get more war support. And what else am I going to spend political power on? Ministers. 
chiefs of armies, you know, just normal stuff. Whatever. Another division, great. Okay, so let's take a look at our money. Ooh. Okay, so that's that's a good amount of money. But we're kind of done making divisions for now. And it's also recommended I do more of this stuff. Let's see, you see, 43 dollars, 6.1. It's important to read how much money you get. 12.4, 24. New Vegas is really good. 54, North Phoenix. Oh, good lord. 54, I am tempted. I am so tempted. I'm so tempted that we'll probably do that. So make 0 0.02. 60, oh yeah. Now that's nice. Drastic measures, kind of a waste. Begin a scavenging program, why not? What else are we going to do here in Mojave? Let's see. Also, someone else also said in the comments. Also, before I let I go on, let things go on. Mr. House still leads Vegas. It's not green anymore because apparently, like at the end of last episode, the Nellis Air Force Base popped out and it was still green. But obviously, the blue version was still under, you know, Mr. House. So we have a blue Vegas, which actually sounds kind of cool. Blue Vegas. But anyways, defending the Mojave. While the Mojave chapter made me defeated, and we seem to be temporarily safe from foreign threats, a sense of unease still settles over the Mojave Defense Committee. Formed of the most talented military minds the Mojave campaign has to offer, it offers advice for overall strategy to General Oliver, who has a final say on all military decisions within the Mojave. The committee has always been or quietly grumbled about Oliver overriding many of the recommendations in favor of bold, flashing, prestigious offenses, but they're all loyal to the Republic and respect its chain of command. Following orders and disagreeing with them are very different things, however, and over recent months, Range, Ranger Chief Hanlon has begun to voice his discontent at Oliver's tactics, arguing a more cautious approach would save lives, a view that which is echoed by other commanders on the committee. The two will surely have disagreements going forwards, especially as war approaches once more. We need to keep an eye on this dispute. Unlocks the Mojave Defense Committee decision category, allowing interaction and the debates over strategy that occurs between Oliver and Han Hanlon within the committee. Later focuses will unlock relevant strategic questions for the committee to consider. Interesting. And just in case, let's get the Old World Wall. The Old World Wall, the Hoover Dam. For centuries it has stood as a testament to the American engineering prowess, and has produced power for close to a dozen generations of American families. However, it also possesses a critical flaw. It's appallingly indefensible. Whilst the original designers could be excused for not anticipating a battle fought on its concrete, their short-sightedness has become something of an issue for the Defense Committee. Decisions are needed. Yeah, we got still got to build up this more, 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 more. As I was trying to say before I, inter I interrupted myself and go over my speech too quickly, let's see, comments must be addressed, let's go and grab automation, that's good. Uh, our interaction with the great cons, we don't need to worry about too much, eventually we do get to fight them hopefully later on, they have a friend of the legion, I have a feeling I left this, I have a feeling I left this on historical, cons, con, no maybe not, how about great, the great divide, Dustin Dull, the Great Debate. Well, well, maybe the NCR has something to do with them later, so we'll see what happens. Cool. Alright, that's not bad. Tri Planet Attackers, I love Cass. Cass is so good, but what about support companies? But we already have saws. That's a little bit ahead of time. Dogs would be nice. Let's grab some of this healing powder. Yeah, that'd be good. Nice. At least we're producing one of everything. Guns are looking pretty good. Helios 1 would be nice to core. Actually, get yeah, that would actually be pretty nice to core. The less resistance, the better, man. Just, just, just better. Oh, look. A ship. Go and train. Led by Admiral Cyrus Hinman. Or should I say Hyman? Yep, I'm never going to use you, but just train anyway. It's a coming storm. A great conflict is a coming. From the Mojave Defense Committee to the lowest NCR troopers, everyone knows that a mighty foe lies across the Colorado. Our campaigns or camps across the Colorado have already clashed with this foe multiple times. It's only a matter of time before they are assaulted in force. Their objective will be, without a doubt, the Hoover Dam. What better way to please a warlord than capturing one of the greatest man-made structures in America for him? We've long known that conflict will come to Hoover Dam, but not to the direction it would come from. Now we can start making a concrete plan for the defense of the dam from the Legion's hordes and the Mojave Defense Committee is brimming with ideas on how to fight them off effectively. The two strongest voices, General Oliver and Chief Hanlon, have rallied supporters around the two contrasting ideas. General Oliver advocates for the total defense of Hoover Dam, fortifying it significantly, and pulling the Legion's overwhelming numbers into a narrow area. Chief Hanlon, meanwhile, believes that the dam is to be too poorly defensible at best. Instead, he believes the real fight will be over Boulder City, where the Legion could be tricking or tricked into an explosive trap. Both ideas have their strengths and weaknesses, but only one can be approved by the committee. The dam must hold large amount of support on the Mojave Defense Committee. Strengthen our unit's defense in a border war for Hoover Dam. 
Chief Hanlon takes some precautions anyways, or fortify this, significantly strengthening our units in defense in a border war for Boulder City. Well, Boulder City is just right down here. Right? Oh, well, it's got Wood Cove, but Boulder City... Mm, eh, I mean, I like... I like Boulder City, but Hoover Dam, if the dam doesn't fall, you know, I'm gonna go with the dam must hold. It's gotta hold, you know? Revisiting the Treaty of New Vegas. Tables are turning. I want, oh man, I want to go to war, man. Divide and conquer, call it the second draft? General Oliver's plans for the future relations with the New Vegas was approved? Or Chief Hanlon's plans were approved? Divide and conquer, huh? Call it the second draft. Emergency committee at the fall of New Vegas. Burn the house down. Should New Vegas fall to powers unwilling to uphold the Treaty of New Vegas, the committee must be convened to decide on a plan of response. Well, let's see what happens. An encouraging victory is not bad. Eh, form the Heavy Corps. More production of electricity, which we're okay with. Let's keep putting down resistance. The suburbs of Camp Forlorn Hope. The Forlorn Hope Springs are a strategically vital source of clean water in the Mojave. Situated on a plateauing top of a small hill, by establishing a small military outpost, we can secure the water resource and protect a portion of Route 95. We get more water. Control of our state of the state increases. Actually, do we... I just want to see the province. Oh, New Vegas economic map mode. Obviously, we don't control it. I would love to control it directly under us. I'm just looking here. Oh, actually, we can core this. We can core this right now if we really wanted to. But I'm looking for a small little icon because I can Kaiser Reich and maybe some other mods. They might have a little icon telling you what's going on. Obviously, we just had a nuclear storm down here. Hidden Valley. Actually, I would, I would really like to core that one. And Helios 1. Oh, there's Route 95, which we do want to core too, so. I think Route 95 first would be good to core. But if we could core this, that wouldn't be bad. But we can't do that anyways. Because Cottonwood Cove, the next immediate one is Route 95. I was going to say something else, but I can't remember now. I mean, yeah, these guys are cool and all, but... Warden, I don't want more resistance target. Passive caps income actually might not be bad to get, as long as we're not losing money. That's my main thing. Experience mechanics, not bad. I like that guy too. Inside scoop, that's okay. Corrupt mayor, not great. Uh, he's not bad. Yeah, none of these just scream, yes, I must have you. Well, oil machine is really good for 12% more organization. Wow. Special Forces Defense. Infantry Attack and Defense. Yes. Salt the Earth. I love Cassandra Moore. Colonel Tzu is not bad. Not great. Not bad, though. Anti-Armor Tactics. Nice. But my my goal right now is just core. Actually, well, I mean, technically, control over state increases. Well, Looster is res reasonable. Let's do Nipton next. Shortly after the battle for Nipton, we established Camp Searchlight in the Crossroads Town, bearing the same name. Not only does the camp give us a vantage point over Nipton and Novak, but also allows us to keep an eye on the Colorado to east. Expanding the camp will help ensure that we can hold on to the region against any who may threaten us. Very good. Very, very good. Ooh, and we have any... Maybe we have a little bit of money. You know what? Let's go anti-partisan stuff. And we're already trying to put down resistance over here, which is more than fine. Keep it down nice and low. Ooh, let's take a look. Resource, so we have dollar stuff. Healing powder is nice, very nice. It's almost 2277. You might as well get vacuum tubes, you might as well. Special Forces expansion. Actually, we're probably going to go ahead and grab more output as well. That's what's good to get. Yeah, we're, we're looking green on everything, which is awesome. Especially anti tank. But, Mojave decisions. War is not an independent phenomenon. Oh. General Oliver is currently significantly more support than Chief Hansen. Well, there's no decisions here, so. Cool. Jurassic measures, which I don't think there's anything there. That's good. Reclamation authority. Cool. How much money do we have currently? 181. Uh, you know what? We could try it. I like political actions. We can try that one. We probably won't spend too much time with that stuff, but we'll see what happens. Three days. Okay. The Nipton deal. Oh, get more compliance, which is fine with me. Nipton was largely untouched by the bombs of the Great War. As a result, a lively community still thrives in and around it. One far too large for us to control through martial law alone. If we were to make a deal with Nipton's mayor, granting some autonomy in exchange for loyalty, we would gain compliance in the region. More compliance and a civilian workshop. I like the civilian workshop. Actually, we got more. We already have maxed out compliance. Oh, but hey, we another civilian workshop, which, is, which isn't bad. Whatever. I want to get through all the focuses anyway, so. March on Bitter Springs. Exploiting the Mojave's riches. Infrastructure is not bad. The second campaign. Conquest of Bitter Aftermath. Revisiting the table of this. Lessons from war. Ooh, a bonus for land auction. I like that quite a bit. Ooh, let's do an encouraging victory then. 
Our defeat of the Stuck Up Brotherhood dudes in the Mojave has been a great boost to our standing among the NCL's people and the government in Shady Sands. Needless to say, we can exploit this victory for more supplies. I like that. The opinion of our war improves significantly from for, or from the people's enthusiasm and the government. And to get more stability to offset the minus 5 stability that we have here. It's alright. No biggie. Three. Two. Come on. And... Bingo was his name -o. An encouraging victory. Automation. Trap line attackers would be nice. Let's keep doing some more in industrial stuff first, though. Crop rotation. Grain solis solicitations. Solicitations, yes. Pronunciations are one of my weaknesses. Let's get more stability, too. Mm, stability. That would help with putting down resistance. Or we could just spend more political power and core more stuff. Because that's that's a lot of factories we can get under us. And more energy, composite materials, and that stuff. Ooh, ooh, coring Helios 1 would probably be a smart idea first. Ooh, ooh, yeah. All those extra factories, we go from 32 to maybe like 35, maybe. That'd be kind of good, right? Alright, so we have 33. 37, hey, not bad. I like that. I like that a lot. We got way more energy. Well, and extra factories. There we go. Awesome. I'm going to go ahead. Let's see. Can we build up more planes? I want more planes. In the end, we're going to make sure that all the extra excess factories go there. Obviously, we need more scrap right now. Well, can we trade for it? I don't want to... No, we can do them. Let's do the she. Awesome. An encouraging victory. Use the tools left behind. Oh, okay. Third and fourth turbines inside the Hoover Dam will come online. I do want to get to lessons of war quickly, so. It seems that the Brotherhood was tinkering about inside Helios 1, presumably to restore its capacity as a power generating solar array. Our tech clearly caught them in the middle of their ambition, and as a result, there's a number of pre war tools inside the complex. Our engineers at the Hoover Dam would surely greatly appreciate it if we sent these their way. Basically, get 40 more energy production, which, why did I close that? We would probably be very, very well off in terms of energy. Next up, we'll get some more stability. Since we did Quart, Helios 1, now it's time. We'll flip flop every other time. So, this time, we'll get consumer goods. And then next time, we'll core Hidden Valley. Unless it's really not worth it. Eh, that's not bad. And the more cores you got, the more manpower you get, the less resistance you have to deal with, which is, as someone pointed out, pretty darn important. We lost quite a few guys. Right now, we only get 57 people a month. Even though, even though I could put this to sporadic outposts. Uh, well, you know what? Let's try. You know what? Let's try. Just because I want to see how much... Oh, let's see. They found something. Oh, Poseidon Energy Schematics. Great. We're, we're really focused on energy in this campaign. Wow. As, as we should, probably, but... So this goes around... If this is less than 700, that's great. If it's not, we might go back to Wasteland Pacification. But we'll see what happens. In the last 12 months. So... And actually, we've lost... Almost 3,000 pieces of equipment, so that's not great. Oh, let's go and get some more compliance. Get some more goods. Lower the research speed. I don't want to lose use up my civilian factories, which are being used already. Uh, let's see. 50%. Since we did Core Helios 1, I feel pretty good about doing that. Use the tools left behind. Any lessons from war? Whilst we were ultimately successful in our war against the Mojave Brotherhood, sparked by Operation Sunburst, it has taught us some much-needed lessons about our military tactics. We must adapt if we are to survive. An 80% bonus is not, not bad. Good amount of manpower. Uh, caps wise, how much do we have? That's not bad. Lift tax on luxury goods, less tax income, more construction speed, political bribes. Oh, vacuum tubes, don't mind if we do. Get some primitive radio for even more reinforcement. I'm mustering across the dam. For some time, we've had the knowledge of some great power in the harsh wastelands east of the Colorado River. From traders arriving from Utah and Arizona, we even gleaned the area appears to be dominated by some bat crazy neo Roman cultists who wear soil swear loyalty to their Kaiser and crucify those that oppose them. However, we have for a while thought out little of them. They appear to have a few major cities to their name and most regard modern technology in favor of more primitive melee equipment. Just another raid of bandits seemed. It appears over recent events have forced us to reconsider that evaluation, however. Over the past few months, we've been spotting more and more scouts glad in similar armor appearing and disappearing. Last week, a division made camp within view of our patrols. Today, a company arrived with more seemingly on their way. Why are they here? Well, there's only one thing worth taking in the area, the Hoover Dam. We must prepare defenses urgently. Alert all arenas prepare to defend the dam. Oh boy. 
All right, if that's the case, this is probably too late to do, but you know what? Outposts, that's cost a lot more. We can get like two outposts in exchange for that. So there you go. Good luck. Hopefully we can hold. Actually, how much support do we have? 122. Can I throw on? Actually, can we do this? Yes, we can. Nice. Demo teams? Nobody. Eh, we'd be kind of out. Chems. We'd be kind of out, so. Hey, public projects. Not bad. Nice. Actually, perfect time. We need more stuff. Let's grab some construction. Build, 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 build. Thank you very much. Uh, maybe I should defend that area, too. Good luck, guys. We're not going to fight New Vegas anytime soon, anyways. Let's get some entrenchment. Guys, you don't need me. Well, I hope you don't need me in this war. If Baja California takes you out, that's a very sad republic. Very, very sad. Oh, crap. The battle for Hoover Dam? Well, oh, crap. Uh, Hoover Dam, we got agreed by this go right ahead. If they should succeed, the Mojave and the Lights of Vegas will open for Kaiser to grab. Should they fall, the Malpias Ligon may find himself in a difficult spot, and the NCR will retain their hold in Mojave for a little while longer. Oh, man, it's going down, but it's going back up. Oh, come on, guys. You can hold. I should have built stuff earlier. I should have listened to you guys. My bad. I don't think this is going to help out at all, but hey, we could try it. It's slowly going up. Good. Now we good, son. If we get into a war, would that stop the border war? If you win, we get to keep it. If we lose, they get to keep it. Oh, oh we have Lee Oliver here. Good. I'm corruption and Baker. A scandal has rocked Mojave territories as the press has revealed that some of the Mojave territories' leaders are taking bribes in exchange for government favors. Brahmin ranchers, gun runners, and others have been abusing our nation for their own personal gain. Many critics wonder if Mojave territories is worth dying for if its leaders are, will tolerate this sort of misconduct. So I've always done it. I'd rather lose political power, to be honest with you. And you know what? We only have 50, and I said we're going to do this other one first, but since we have 50, I'd rather get something out of it now than later. So... Now we'll do Helios 1, or... or we already did heal this one. Hidden Valley or Black Mountain. Lessons from war, not bad. Cool. Revisiting the Treaty of New Vegas and exploring the riches. I mean, that's okay. That's, there's nothing else up top we can do. Cool. Emergency Committee. I'll do this one. Exploring the riches. Although mostly desert plains, and Mojave does possess treasures if you know where to look. Oh, we do get more scrap. And the Old World Halls. Wall, wall, the wall holds. The Legion cannot even cross the Colorado. How do they expect to reach Shady Sands if they can't even take this well-fortified entrenched position with a clear field of fire? Ha! A mighty foe defeated for now. Victory at the dam. The old world wall holds, my friends. Cheers erupted today across the Republic as news broke that the Legion has been repelled in spectacular fashion from the Hoover Dam. For days, NCR troopers and rangers have bravely fought and died on the cold concrete surface of the gigantic structure, locked in an ever-changing conflict with an enemy more vicious, loyal, and organized than any we have faced before. The battle is closer than any of us would have liked, in part thanks to the legate commander that opposed us. Regardless, through our defensive forethought and more sophisticated weaponry and tactics, we've been able to win the day. Most certainly, we've dealt a blow to the Legion but a few in the Mojave have a doubt. They will be back again in some form or another. We must keep an eye on them. And keep an eye on the East. Absolutely. Uh, I will say this, though. I'm glad I threw on those companies. Those support companies. The fire team support. I'm not going to say they won the battle for us, but they are pretty useful. Cool. Uh, let's make sure everyone needs to. Train. Crop rotation. Let's grab some more output. Standardized tools. Thank you very much. And then after anti-armor tactics, we'll grab some wasteland survivalism. Slightly less supply use. Better supply grace. And this affects infantry and forces, warhounds, fake intel battalions, school infantry, and law keeper platoons. Nice. Ooh, what is this? Anything else here interesting? Yeah. Doing pretty darn well, I'd say. Grain solicitations. Monthly population plus 75% of caps income. Ooh, someone recommended that we should do that. And I'm tempted to. So we can only get 65.59. Country base node income. Well, we don't have a base node. How much money do we have right now? Oh, 293. That's not bad. You know what? Monthly population. We can only get 27. 63. So we lost two cats. That's fine. 37 up to 42 for that much money. Uh, we'll see what happens. 75% is okay. It's not great, but it's okay. So what if we did outsource research to NCR? I mean, outsourcing research isn't great, but what if we just wanted better research? Like more collaborative research, some might say. You know what? I'm okay with this. Keep building up here because they might attack later on, and I want to make sure we have really, really good forts. That's fine with me. Uh, you know what? Actually, do this one first. 
Civilian infrastructure. Guys, you don't need me. I'm not in your punching bag. Actually, where do we have a lot of resistance? In Valley, Boulder City. Expand the riches. Cool. And we did do victory at the Hoover Dam. We've been successful in fending off the assault by Kazal's Legion on the dam in Boulder City. It wasn't pretty and was more down to luck than we'd like to admit, but it's still a victory. Let's see, calls the fort. Approved. Hanlon. Approved. See reinforcements in the form of manpower. Let's go clear the I-40. While our campaign is primarily focused on the northern Mojave and New Vegas, we must be sure to not forget about the southern Mojave that lays between Baker and Needles. Much like the Long 15 that extends from Baker to New Vegas, the I-40 remains largely clogged by wrecks of pre-war cars and trucks with some work. We would be able to clear out the worst of the congestion from the route, making travel to the Needles area significantly easier. Now, with this much money, I am tempted to start making another division. Just make one for now, because since we can't afford it with our trade caravans and if we can get to Vegas and court or let's just get to Vegas we can make enough money so and also when we do go to war with the Legion again I gotta remember that they will navally invade us I remember playing as a Mojave chapter they did invade us a few times so we must be prepared for that you never know what your enemy has in store for you that's oh, and you guys can stop doing that if you'd like to duplicate yourselves go right ahead but train almost done with that Got a little bit of money. Let's go ahead and do more anti partisan stuff. That'd be kind of probably ideal for us. Maybe get a, some cryptography going as well. Clear the authority. Actually, how many more days we go with this? Not bad. Cool. After that, let's go ahead and do. Uh, we lose manpower. More, less resistance, less compliance. Sure, why not? Garrison Prim. A pre-war mini Vegas. Prim has experienced something of a resurgence following pre-war or following NCR occupation of the Mojave. A key trading town on the route to New Vegas, Prim is a strategic location well worth defending indeed. Should Nipton fall to it, or should Nipton fall, it could become a vital rally point. Unfortunately, I will be right back. Alright everyone, and now let's go ahead and bulk up the Cottonwood port. While the Long 15 acts as our main trade route back to the NCR, we could also run some small-scale supply missions up the Colorado from NCR outpost to the south. It wouldn't be ideal, but it may be useful for emergencies, so that's actually probably a pretty good idea. We got enough political power in which we could probably core this soon. Yeah, I think it'd be good to eventually core this, but let's go ahead and take a look at this. We did sporadic outposts just to see the difference in damage taken regarding manpower as well as equipment. So let's go and choose resource production because we can. And then look at this. Have we lost more? No, actually we've lost half. Using wasteland pacification or switching back to sporadic outposts resulted in about, I would say maybe is a 75% reduction in cost, maybe 80% reduction. Equipment losses are drastically less, at least for now, considering this, but then it used to be 700, now it's 386, so we'll see what happens. And we just got this done, we're gonna need that eventually. We can become a spy master, which is not bad, but we'll see what happens. Metal working, don't mind if we do. Ooh, West Hand Survivalism too. Let's grab some multi-purpose equipment, as well as mercenary conscription. Very good. Oh, and we also wanted to convert these guys too, didn't we? Yes, we did. Can we do so? No, we can't. Thank you, game. Alright, whatever. I mean, we're looking really good. Special forces or uh, special operations equipment's looking great. I think it's time we might try to throw on some grenade equipment too, maybe. And how much do we need? One. Oh, oh, less than twenty percent. Oh, that's quite a bit of resistance. Is it going down? Hmm. Love we'll chapter. Twenty percent resistance, huh? Low. You know, I could probably do resistance eradication. It's going to cost us a little bit more. But if we can get Hidden Valley, I think that'd be worth it for now. Second campaign. So, in some ways, two battles need to be fought over the Mojave. The first, to occupy the land. The second, to win it. We may de facto have the Mojave under our undership, but we are far from controlling swaths of it. The committee is divided by how best to combat this. Very good. So let's just go and just reduce the resistance by as much as possible. 0.6 is going to drop down to 0.1 to 0.7 because just get rid of the resistance here. Now, I could be wrong. We could eventually core this someday, but I don't know. I really don't know until we do it, so. Uh, meh, meh. Uh, that's all. just slightly too ahead of time for us. We're doing this stuff down here as well. Let's go and come over here and do not power armor, but ranger mountain training. Ooh, that's actually for special forces and air ghoul infantry. Interesting. Cool. There we go. And you know what? We'll probably be line for this one next. Let's go ahead and raise it back to 
by the horses. Nice, there you go. That's better. Awesome. Guys, you don't need me for this. Please, seriously, you've almost killed them all off. Not bad. Islands of Day. And also, I want to make more divisions, but I've set it to low for now, so. Ooh, look at that. A second person. Operative, thank you. Do we need to put down any more resistance? Sure. Why not? Might as well, right? More defense. We should probably get some crowd control gear, too. Let's see how we do on building. Building. Awesome. Awesome. We're going to keep one line on civilian factories at all times because a bigger industrial base is what we kind of need right now. Anything here done in six days? Nope. All right, second campaign, and then we can probably do this one. March on Bitter Springs. For years, the tribal raiders who call themselves the Great Cons have plagued our territory. Based to the east of Vegas, in their camp known as Bitter Springs. They think of themselves safe from repercussion. It's time to put an end to the foolery. It'll take our soldiers a few days of march through the outskirts of New Vegas to launch the raid on Bitter Springs. We'll receive word when, the commence, when we will commence their, their attack. Conquest better aftermath. The forces of the Mojave Expedition, led by General Oliver and spearheaded by Chief Hanlon's Rangers, have held the most strategic points across the Mojave for months now. After the, the defeat of the Mojave chapter and signing of the Treaty of New Vegas, well, we didn't sign the New Vegas Treaty yet. Well, I guess technically we haven't revisited it. The expedition faces no organized or oranide military opposition. However, as NCR's war-weary troopers are just discovering, beating the Brotherhood and occupying a handful of settlements was the easy part of the campaign, despite some bold initiatives. Uh, or initiatives. Yeah, Oliver's Mojave expedition has been far more or less unable to actually pass by the Mojave. Organized military opposition may be eliminated, but supplies are far too sparse to heavily garrison settlements, and raider groups move freely and rapidly across the Mojave every day. To cap off this bleak picture is the ever-growing threat posed by Kaiser and his legion on the far side of the Colorado, drawing even more of the expedition's stretched resources. Well, with a list of objectives vast, the Mojave Defense Committee has been assembled to deliberate over the question of the second campaign. On the one side, General Oliver advocated for continuation of current policy, offering limited garrisons to settlements where necessary, but prioritizing local autonomy to save manpower. Chief Hanlon, meanwhile, seeks a more radical policy with drawing the bulk of expedition forces to a series of hard points, Hoover Dam, Camp McCarran, and a variety of other smaller camps while leaving settlements to their own devices. There's little appetite for Hanlon's strategic or strategic policy or strategy back home, but considering the expedition's mandate for pacification, not emancipation, there's a good case to be made for his tactics. The debate will rage late into the night. Uh, without the support of settlements, we will perish. We simply don't have the manpower to spare. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Branch on Bitter Springs. Oh, uh, is this gonna work? I don't know what's gonna happen. Like, how do we get over there? March on Bitter Springs. Uh, hopefully, we'll do okay. I. Uh, I don't know. Obviously, if you skip like five minutes into the episode, you'll you'll know how well we do. So, but don't skip. Don't skip. That's not cool. Let's see, you guys. Can we throw on them demo teams? We might need these before we. Yes, we can. Cams? Yeah, we can. Beautiful. And since we got the Rangers, we got enough army XP to at least throw one of these on. If we're gonna throw anything on, we probably have enough fire teams. So we could do that. There you go. Now we're out of XP. Resource production, not bad. 0.9. That's gonna get some of this. I said I said we would get this. Let's get some crowd control gear. Construction. We're getting closer with this one being done. So that's good. Camp McCarran. That's probably gonna be pretty important too, but industry is the way of the future, some might say. Oh, see, NCR, he didn't need us. He didn't need us. Bunch of crazies. Oh, help settlements out too. New Haven is gone, who cares? And 33 people a month. Not a lot. Significantly more support. Drastic measures, procurement of things. I don't want to spend money on that. How much money are we making right now? 77. Nice. Now, of course, once we go to war with Vegas, we won't be able to... Or war with... Actually, Vegas or the Legion. The caravans we send will be worth quite a bit less. Supply and demand. Supply in the Mojave. Ooh. Well, I want to do... Let's do this one first. So, should New Vegas follow the powers I'm willing to help hold the treaty in New Vegas, the committee must be convened to decide on a plan of response. Burn the house down? I like that idea. Burn, baby, burn. Ooh, baby. The Battle for Bitter Springs. Oh, what is this? After a month of planning, our troops reached Bitter Springs in the early hours of the morning, under orders to crush the tribe that's caused Mojave expedition so much trouble. The attack was to be ruthless. The brunt of NCR infantry would make a frontal assault on the primary entrance to Bitter Springs, while elements of the 1st Recon Division would position themselves on the Coyote train ridge to cover the only other possible exit from the camp. Both groups were ordered to keep firing until they ran out of ammo, for everyone believed the camp was a bastion of resistance in the area. As it turns out, the intel was false. Holy crap. 
Keep firing till you run out of ammo. That does not seem strategically or tactically smart. While well, NCR troopers did meet steep resistance as they launched their attack, the camp also included a number of women and elderly. Details are still unclear on whether or not they were combatants, and many troopers w swearing they were fired upon by gosh darn near everyone in the camp. Regardless, a good number of these women and elderly turned to flee when they saw the battle going badly. Just as predicted, they ran up the Coyote Trail, where the first recon snipers were waiting. Without any fresh orders, the men and women of the first recon followed their initial directive and pumped every last bolt they had into the fleeing cons. It was a massacre. So, wait, we got women and men fighting in the in the division. But then you say, just because they're women here doesn't mean that they're not armed, you know. Maybe they are. Maybe they aren't. I don't know. But what have we done? We got rid of the Great Con Raids National Spirit. That's what we've done. And we finally lose less weekly manpower and get some consumer back factories back. We lost some manpower and some stability, but all in all, we had to do what we had to do. Do the ends justify the means? Well, maybe. Maybe. You never know. Actually, sometimes you do know. No, we don't need... Uh, we, yeah. Oh, Street Sense is currently open to our requests. People are fervently supporting our campaign. You bet they are. I wonder if we can become, like, leaders of... Can we, uni can we unify with the NCR? Can we become leaders of the NCR? That'd be kind of fun. That would be kind of fun. And we need 133, which is not bad. Yeah, I get rid of resistance. And we get more scrap, which is nice as well. Is Boulder City ours fully? No, it's not. Ooh, that's quite a bit more. Hmm. I think I'm going Boulder City first. Mercenary conscription? Great. Let's grab some civilian drafts. Yeah. 4% more group of population is nice. Do we... No, I don't think I'll be able, actually be able to see this because Hoover Dam's right there. Do we have Hoover Dam as a core? Mm, we might. I think we do. So, it appears that rebellious elements in New Vegas have killed House. With his, with his defeat, perhaps we can take advantage of the disaster and occupy New Vegas. We have more priorities. Our path to Vegas is clear. Um. Hmm. We'll see what happens. Revisiting the Treaty of New Vegas. While the Treaty of New Vegas ple pledged 95% of Hoover Dam's energy to the NCR, as well as military access for NCR troopers to most of New Vegas, the Treaty was a begrudging compromise with a nation the NCR would much rather just annex in, in entirety. Sadly, the years of peace have only increased Mr. House's strength, while the NCR continues to flounder the Mojave. If we were to one day rule the Mojave, we must have a plan. And we must have some action. Now, I do want to core more territory first before we start really doing more stuff here. I mean, this stuff is okay. I suppose a guy getting us more caps would be pretty good. That does increase... what? Plus 8 caps? Actually, that's not bad. That's actually not bad at all. But I want less resistance. I'm all about resistance right now. Looking much better. Oh my goodness. Crowd control gear? Nice. Ooh. Let's grab some Pioneer kits. Yeah, I'm gonna core this first. Boulder City. That's nice. And that help us defend this area too with Camp McCarran. Once they start attacking our lines because of the war sport effect on core territory. So division intense. Blah, blah, blah. Division depends on core territory, 6.2%. It's muy bueno, some might say. Or muy bueno. Either one. After that, let's see, call it the second draft. After that, we'll probably do supply and demand. The Mojave is vast and desolate. To properly control it, it would require a number of military bases crisscrossing the region, each requiring constant supply and reinforcement. Whilst we may have enough supplies to keep our current outposts ticking over. If we were to expand our outposts, construct new ones, or suffer for er, enemy espionage, we may be unable to provide enough supplies to all of our bases. Kaiser's Legion? Did you know Kaiser's Legion? Well, they joined Kaiser's Legion. Hmm. The tables are turning. When we first ventured into the Mojave, New Vegas lit up bright in the sky. Mr. House and his robots, eager to meet us, ventured forth from the walls of the city to our camps on the Hoover Dam, telling tales of the Golden City, the jewel of the Mojave. While House's Securitrons seemed fierce, they were a few in number, and House's only other allies were ragtag troops, groups of tribals that had become the families of New Vegas, it seemed. Should the expedition want to, New Vegas could be relatively easily conquered. Certainly at no more of a cost than Operation Sunburst. To the order to conquer New Vegas never came, however. Instead, the Treaty of New Vegas was signed, guaranteeing New Vegas independence at 5% of Hoover Dam's power output. The treaty made some sense, faced with the Mojave Brotherhood. Raider groups and growing legions throughout the NCR simply cannot afford another powerful enemy. The circumstances now have changed ever so slightly. No longer is the Mojave Brotherhood much of a threat, and the immediate threat posed by Raider groups has been reduced, strengthening our position somewhat. Moreover, fresh divisions have joined the expedition. There is an argument in the Mojave Defense Committee, champion, championed by General Oliver, to continue our military buildup, and by consequence, dwarf House's power. Dissuading him from ever attacking uh, Chief Hanlon instead argues that we should look for allies amongst the families of New Vegas, possibly even leading 
to backing a pro NCR coup in the day. Bringing New Vegas into the fold would be a huge victory, but also risks making enemies of a powerful fold. With the numerical advantage, we can dissuade any attack. Reach out to some of the families. We may have some allies. Hmm. Continue our military buildup and, by consequence, dwarf house's power. Dwarf him from ever or dissuade him from ever attacking. Pro NCR coup. Ooh. Well, we can always just find it manually. So let's keep building ourselves up. Uh, allies, because you know I don't want them to have a coup. I want to directly administer the New Vegas ourselves. Direct rule from Baker, which I just realized is all the way over here. Mexico's on fire. Cool. Uh, acclimatization training? Good. Yeah. That'll be good. Ten days for military training is not bad. After that one, we'll probably we'll probably stick with ballistics. I mean, war equipment looks really cool. <laughs> Can you imagine the Mojave territories using powered weaponry? Maybe a little bit. But yeah, assault carbines, marksman carbines... That looks more unique than pulse energy weapons, which is just kind of defunct and normal. That looks pretty nice. Go and get additional plating. That'd be good. Let's go and get some of this too. There you go. Wow, we make a lot of uh, biplanes. If I do say so myself. Oh, there goes Lanius' cohorts. Good. Well, good for them, I guess. Duplicate that. Oh, that might be a bit too much. Come over here. There you go. And train. And you guys. And train. And then you guys, boom, boom, boom. I gotta take both. And go there. Supply and demand. The Mojave was far from hospitable terrain before the Great War. After it, great swaths of the Mojave became scorching, radiation filled deserts. Movement of troops and civilians is difficult and largely restricted to two major trade routes Route 95 and I 15. Even more difficult is the movement of supplies. Caravans are slow and bulky and often have to navigate off established trade routes to reach outposts and garrisons in strategic rather than convenient locations. While we had enough supply to support the establishment and expansion of our current pub posts, any future efforts to expand upon, resupply, or establish bases will require the investment of supply. We can gain supply through concerted efforts to do in our focus tree, or through negotiating it from the NCR government. It can be used for various projects available later in our focus tree. Compromises may, be, may, may need to be made. We'll see. Maybe. I'm not opposed to it, but... Call out the second draft. Ooh. Mojave Troopers. Family diplomacy. Uh, no family stands strong enough on their own. I'm gonna just manually just file them on myself. Let's see. Just because they, they gotta be under. So we got that one. We got that one. That one. Or this one. This one. An offer? Ooh. Uh, calling up the family. The second draft. Family, an offer, we can refuse. Wait, an offer, we can actually refuse. What is that from before? Is that from EU4? I think that's from EU4, isn't it? An offer, it's like when you get, like, someone offers you espionage activity or abilities, an offer that we can actually refuse, and we get, like, prestige in the end? I barely play EU4, but even I remember that a little bit. Prevent from obtaining the platinum chip. Ooh! The bear's last meal. Okay, so we might eventually get it, so... The Mojave line, that's kind of cool. So, let's not go to war. Let's see what happens. Ooh, an apnea. Let's call it the second draft, just since we, since we did it already. And we can, this way, now we can focus more on the lower part of the tree. Whatever advantage Mr. House thinks he may possess in secure characters, the NCR more than makes up for in good quality fighting men and women and anti tank. We should call for a second draft of citizens from the NCR, and with any luck, some of them will be deployed to help us. Three trained and equipped divisions of Mojave troopers will arrive at Baker and get some more manpower, which is good. And Santa Anna's on its warpath, which. We might have to deal with later. We'll see what happens. Good. Santa Caravan. Two months. We got. I think at this point we should really start building up a nice stockpile of money because eventually we won't be able to trade with New Vegas anymore. We might own it, and eventually we're currently trading with North Phoenix. But like I say, eventually we won't be able to do that. We'll be at war with North Phoenix, and when you're at war, people usually don't like to trade with you. Sometimes maybe, but not always. Let's see. Any upgrades? New no, sir. Got plenty of command power. I wish there was more things you could do with your command power during peace times. Nice. Very nice. Got slightly more water. 53 factors. I mean, we're doing really well. I'm not sure what else to say. Like, we're doing really, really well. Oh, we need to make some guns, huh? So, if that's the case, going back down to two. There you go. There you go. Let's keep making some more guns at all times. Eventually, you hit a point in the game where it doesn't even matter. So, 
Act now or forever hold our peace. The clash at Hoover Dam has left us jarred. We don't know how long we'll be able to hold on to the Mojave, but we need to assume the answer may not be forever. We need to hurry up and extract resources from the area before it's too late. Get more production. We lose compliance. Route 95 and Neptune? What the heck? Ooh, let's see. I want to see you guys out. Let's see. 20 combat width. You have... Oh, you actually have everything on there. Nice. That's actually really awesome. Ooh, if that's the case, let's go ahead. Glory Falls. Oh, that's not good. I'm going to stop making divisions. Just because we can't really afford them too much until we get New Vegas. So, yeah. Even I even I realize, like, you know, sometimes we got to wait to do that stuff. Additional planning is great. Come back over here. Ah, yeah. Better research support. Research speed. Pretty good. Can we, can we convert you guys yet, please? Yes, one. Can we do another one, maybe? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's not infantry, special forces. Oh, oh, yes. And we're out of that stuff, that's fine. Cool, Twin Mothers were annex. Well, that's not good. It's alright, though. Still gets more oh, Ash Winters army XP every day. And we got a week left for that. Not bad. I've been working on the railroad. Building a railway from Shady Sands to New Vegas has been a uh, great dream of General Oliver's. Not only would it be a propaganda victory, but it would also allow for the extremely quick redeployment of troops to New Vegas and Hoover Dam from the NCR's heartland. The first part of the line, running from Baker alongside the Long 15, is relatively easy to construct due to our strong control over the area. Running a line through the Mojave, meanwhile, may be a bit more of an issue. So be it. Actually, infrastructure through like the Long 15. 6 out of 10. Eh, we can improve infrastructure here. Eventually, we will improve infrastructure quite a bit more, but that takes time. Get some more reinforced rate and diplom diplomacy distance, which uh, is an okay addition to the game. Wow, we're great on energy. Great on water. Wow. We're doing, as some might say, pretty darn bueno. How is our caps income? Oh, that is not good, because we need to do this. 52. Oh. What happened to um, North Phoenix? Did they did they embargo us? Well, I guess we gotta go to the hub then. The hub. Tax breaks for factories, huh? Eh, it's not really worth it. Not worth it. Explain slipways, no. Okay, cool. Procurement of things, maybe. So we have almost everything core already. I mean, obviously, not nipped in, not good springs, but let's go core this last piece and we'll see what happens. I've been fucking on the railroad. Oh, point. Oh, look at this. Knowledge is power. Maybe we should try to beeline and go down here as fast as possible. But oh, then again, General Oliver's resignation or cement Oliver's authority, which I like a lot. Destroy the Baker Decree. Our supplies increased by 4D. Oh, which one? Which one has significantly more support? We'll probably go with Oliver. I might eventually play this with the Mojave territories again someday, and we might go with the other one, but I'm not really sure. Employed Ambassador. Let's go with Employed Ambassador Crocker. Following Ambassador's and Edith's retreatment, probably retirement, earlier this year from her role as Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipot Plenipotentiary of the NCR Embassy in New Vegas. We need to find a suitable replacement. Under political pressure from Shady Sands, it seems that we have one, only one possible candidate, Dennis Crocker. Um, a career politician, Crocker led Kimball's successful campaign to sit on the NCR Council. He has at least seen, seems a competent diplomat. That's cool. Dennis Crocker? Is that from the Fairly Odd Parents? Mm, how many things are we referencing? Is it? I think it is. Maybe not. Okay, recon too. I love it. More recon, please. And we'll end the episode soon. I know this has been a very, very long episode, but... Whatever. Whatever. The first episodes are usually half an hour. Every anything else is fair game after that. So, 80%? Why not? Keep building some infrastructure. We could make more military factories. It's not like... It's, this is this is obviously not TNO, where building military factory actually hurts your GDP. And since that doesn't really affect us right now... Ooh, we can't core this because we have too much... Hmm. We need less than 20% resistance. Let's get a little bit more political power first. And then we'll cut, use... Wasteland Eradication. Heaven's Gate to clear warm. High Chapel. We're mobilizing a little bit more. Nice. We're still mobilizing. Oh, that's so nice. That is so nice. Mm. Fall of Vault City. Oh, Pale Folk 1. Wow. Mm. That one. Release Nation. Ooh, I almost clicked on that. 
Eradicate him. Nice. Appoint Ambassador Kraka. The Great Debate. We'll do that one probably in the next episode. Ooh, what is this? We can refuse to get money. Oh, there's an description and offer. We can make a proposal for Benny to work with us if the price is right. Surely he's not going to stab us in the back and end his days on a Legion Cross. If Benny's not in power, he'll launch a coup with our support should we fight New Vegas. If he is in power, we can come to some sort of agreement. It's an offer we can refuse. I'm going to go with the refuse because I just want to take him out ourselves and I want to core New Vegas for us. I think that'd be better. And we can use the money, which is one of the rare, which is something I almost never say in one of these campaigns. Usually we have enough money, but not right now. And I'm really gunning to go for Vegas as fast as possible. Nice. Less than 20% resistance. And Bingo was maybe his name -o. Beautiful. So, Mojave Chapter's been fully pacified and cored. Beautiful. Over 9,000 spare manpower. And what else can we want here? What else can we want? Let's go through one more focus and then we'll call it an episode. Okay, a couple more days left. And Alpha, we can refuse. Very good. Actually, can, can we convert any of our more special forces over again? And can we do... Yes, we can. Nice. Anyone need stuff from there? Nope. Government side for schools. How much money do we have? 422. That's not bad. And... Deploy the military police. The NCR's reputation is per perpetually tarnished by rowdy, drunk, and generally disobedient NCR troopers spending all their wages on the, NC or the New Vegas Strip. While we can do little to restrict NCR troopers from spending their money on hookers and drugs, we can at least police those who get too unruly. Besides, the military police are the only units on the Strip allowed to carry fire. Excuse me, firearms. So if Mr. House gets a little too uppity, we've got things to do. But anyways, hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new. Check, check out my Discord link in the description below if you haven't already. And let me know. We're at peace with New Vegas. Should we go to war with Vegas as fast as possible? That sounds like a lot of fun. If we choose General Oliver, should we go with Merits of Diplomacy? Or NCR Against the World? Let me know in the comments below. But regardless, like I said, I hope you have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching, and catch you later.